A warm September evening in Manhattan, New York. This part of the world is, ostensibly, the epicenter of beauty universe as well as, quite naturally, the mecca for photographers. Tonight we are here at the newly opened studio of Ed Hafizov, master photographer, founder, and owner of well-known Zor Studios. Mr. Hafizov himself, a soft-voiced young man with surprisingly delicate yet confident demeanor, meets us at the entrance and kindly agrees to share a few thoughts about his art. Having started as a traditional artist and web designer, Ed Havasov, at some point, purchased his first SLR and soon realized that photography was indeed his one and only true calling. Due to both natural talent and hard stick to itiveness, Mr. Havasov quickly became one of the most sought after fine art and portraiture photographers in his area. Then, a somewhat unexpected request from several of his former models to photograph their weddings ended up providing Mr. Havasov with a whole new source of inspiration. They uh, started to get married and they asked me to, uh, to shoot their weddings and I gave it a try, uh, applying my, uh, my previous uh, commercial, my, my, my artistic port uh, portraiture, artistic approach to the wedding photography and uh, it worked out very nicely. According to Ed Hafizov, High-end wedding photography is always a fascinating adventure and may even contain elements of physical danger. The result, however, is always worth it. When it gets to photography, I get crazy, I lose my mind. Uh, I do, I tend to do some uh, um, crazy stuff, um, at times maybe uh, dangerous or it may be just risque. I love to experience, I love to push uh, myself and my clients to, to do something extravagant. One of the things was probably, at the moment, might be one of the uh, interesting ones is when we, uh, when I shot a wedding in Jamaica and we, we found a, a shipwreck, uh, which is a, which was a, a real ship and it was uh, not quite on the shore, but we had to climb there, and uh, it was til uh, uh, tilted, uh, and the waves, the ocean waves, which were pretty high, they were really hitting us and. Uh, and we used ropes to get there to, to find our positions and it was quite uh, a dangerous thing to do but uh, we, we all were for it, we wanted to create something uh, interesting and the clients, the, the clients were actually a wedding couple it was, well it happened the day after the wedding so we, kind of, we didn't want to do it before the wedding but after that they gave okay for that Wedding photography, as a practical, very client-oriented genre, can be rather conservative, but not in Ed Havasov's hands. Things don't always have to be crazy, but they do have to be different, unique. I mean, I try to bring uh, a sense of sensuality, of uh, passion to my uh, wedding clients, because uh, they celebrate their passion for each other. They, they really want to, uh, to uh, bring their lives closer. Uh, so to be with each other and I want to um, show not only emotional, I show the emotional connection but also a hint on, on physical connection, on physical attraction uh, to each other. Also I try to push some boundaries, I try to uh, show, uh, look for unusual ways of representing something or doing something unusual. At the end of this brief but informative exchange, Ed Hafizov readily shared his joy regarding an important recent milestone in his career. There is a publication, an upscale uh, wedding related publication called Grace Armand uh, Wedding Style Magazine and uh, what they do, they put together a by invitation only list of the best uh, vendors uh, around the country uh, called Platinum List and they they invited me to that list and actually if you open that magazine you will, you will see that there are only I believe I saw seven or eight studios in the state of New York not just the city but the state of New York uh, who, who are listed there as vendors who they screened and uh, the, uh, who they feel secure and uh, 
confident in recommending. The magazine itself, the publication, like I said, it's an upscale and it, uh, it's aimed at uh, very affluent and uh, sophisticated uh, clientele. Um, and being there is quite an honor, quite an honor and uh, an indication that I am headed in the right direction.